friends. Hope you're doing well. Staying safe. Staying happy. And staying healthy. I'm your boy MK. And welcome back to Pyre. Um, uh, I think we're really close to the end of this game. I don't know. I admit I am... Should be the process of going to bed, but I am not. I also have a headache. Ish. Took some ibuprofen about a half hour ago. Has yet to fully kick in. But it's working. Um, so, anyway, let's continue on. The path to freedom. Alright. <coughs> Voices somewhere up in here. Probably not. This one's easy. Don't. Wolfred is already up. He reveals to you a pathway through the woods, into the cold lands to the north, beyond which lies your next destination. Sclorian Shore. Uh, I also put some icy hot on the back of my neck, which is kind of helping too. Ooh, this is very serene, very silent. It's the sound of silence. You get clear of the woods at last and arrive in lands grown cold to the shadow of Mount Aladil. You'll have to make it all the way to the top. Yeah, this has got to be one of the last rites. Sacred Mount on whose summit the rites were first conceived. In a moment of respite, Wolfred, Wolfred calls everyone together to, dis God damn, to discuss matters pertaining to the rites and the plan to which he alluded. You band it together with a common faith that freedom from the downside is not impossible. Am I correct? But let me ask you something. What does freedom mean to you? What? Is your name? What is your quest? He looks in your direction as he asks, defying you to answer. He cannot sense his own thoughts on the subject, and only know the truth of how you feel. What does freedom mean to you? Oh my. Okay, so this is existential. What does freedom mean to me? Freedom means that you feel comfortable in your own skin. You feel like you can make a choice and be happy with your choice. You can go to sleep at night without going, oh God, did I make a bad decision? Knowing that you did the best you could based on the information that you had at the time, based on how you were... Um, Uh, what's the best way to word this? Based on how you have been programmed to respond, to react, etc. So doing what you want does not necessarily mean freedom. Achieving inner peace is closer to where I would go. Having no master does not mean that you're free. You cannot have a master and not actually be free. It's a weird concept, but I, that's something that I personally believe. Going where you please. Freedom means being able to go where the heart yearns without restriction, without fear. Our hearts are fickle. Your heart does not always... Just because something... God, this is existential. So this is right up my alley. Uh, honestly, a lot of these are not wrong they're all elements of freedom right to feel true love freedom means not having one's strongest feelings and emotions repressed or rebuffed is accurate living without fear freedom means living life without concern for others judgment or approval can i do like inner peace and living without fear i personally say achieving inner peace because I say stay happy, stay healthy, and stay stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. Being safe means that you're doing things that may not necessarily be safe, but that you know that you can handle. 
being happy means that at the end of every day, maybe you haven't had a good day and maybe you're not true, maybe you're not like temporally happy, temporarily happy, but in the long run, you know that what you're aiming at is going to bring you happiness. And staying healthy is just, you know, it's staying healthy. Sometimes it's staying mentally healthy. Sometimes it's staying physically healthy. Sometimes, and, and realistically, it's both. And I think if you can be happy in the long run and deal with short-term unhappiness at times, knowing that what you're doing, knowing that where you're aiming is, it, it, it brings you brings you happiness. Um, <clears throat> I think that's having a carefree heart. Having a clear conscience is basically saying, hey, what I do is what I do. There's nothing within the deeper parts of my, well, I'll say my soul within my, within my mind, within my heart that say there's something wrong about what I'm doing. I'm going to say achieving inner peace because that is what I personally think freedom is. Your conscience is clear. You may occasionally screw up, but you know that you, um... that the, t the times when you screw up can be resolved. So I'm going to say achieving inner peace. I think none of these are bad per se. Um, doing what you want isn't necessarily freedom because you can be like, I'm going to go, I don't know, let's take the most extreme. I'm going to go kill somebody, right? That's not freedom. That's just foolishness. That's, that's not real freedom. In fact, that, moment of freedom will likely cause a lack of freedom having no master you can have no master you answer to no one's will other than your own as to use this but you're not at the end of the day we all have a master like we all do that's something that i personally believe um, you know, some of y'all may not, and that's okay. But I, I, I think for me, achieving inner peace and living without fear are probably the two closest things to what freedom means to me. But I think achieving inner peace, having a clear conscience and a carefree heart, means that ultimately you're not worrying about others' judgment and approval. You care for others, but you're not trying to do it for their approval. And you're not worried about their judgment because you're doing something that it still leaves you with a clear conscience, you know? So I say achieving inner peace. To Volford, that freedom is a state of mind. While easier said than done, if you can simply be yourself without concern, then you are free. He considers your response for a short while. If that is so, then the commonwealth that I recall, the commonwealth that sentenced us to rot, that's not a place that fosters freedom such as you describe. Admittedly, admittedly, I haven't seen the Commonwealth in many, many years. However, judging by your presence here, I doubt it's changed all very much since then. <clears throat> he then turns his attention to the whole group. Now, let me tell you all what freedom means to me. Freedom means to live life without fear. To be able to indulge one's curiosities and passions, at least the ones that cause no harm to others without the constant threat of judgment and reprisal. I, whew, stepping out. There we go. You can indulge your curiosities and passions in the ones that don't cause harm to others. Whew. Preach, Wolfred. Freedom means not being made a criminal for what you know, or whom you love, or what you choose to think or not think. I mean, I have a hard time disagreeing with that. I have a hard time disagreeing with that. He looks out. He looks out towards the distant mountains. Within the next few days, your time in exile could come to an end. You could see the Commonwealth once more. And you would be exalted there, given the highest honor, the opposite of how you got here. But you would not be truly free, I think. At the least, you would become complicit to an ancient system that would die. Dane, dine, dine, dine. 
Dame Dime D Diggin to cast down others such as you. Tis a system whose well-intentioned founding principles have long been lost, and the eight scribes, if they're out there, still have made quite clear they shall not intervene firsthand. That is where you come in. He turns to you and everyone again, look into each of you. Long have I wished to gather such a group that together you might see that seeking freedom only for yourselves is too modest of a goal. You share a higher calling now. The plan then is this. We free each other from the downside through the rights. Then we meet up on the other side. We organize. Each new moon at dusk, we join together at the spiral sanctum. We need as many of us there as possible. My agents on the other side shall explain the rest. Your plan to revolt. Just so. I am asking a lot. You do have other options. Deceit, however, is not one of them. The reader and myself, you know by now that we can see through it. But you need not be a part of this, nor is it in my interest to coerce you. You may go on your own way if you wish, live out your remaining days here, like so many others. <coughs> Sorry. So, if anyone among you prefers that, if you cannot see yourself continuing to strive together in the Commonwealth as you are doing here, then speak now. Wolfred pauses for a time, examining each member of the group. No one stirs. Very good. Some of you consider yourself friends, some others not. But all of you are bound together through the rights and are integral to our plan. Remember that. You seek true freedom. You will not find it waiting for you in the Commonwealth, but together you can bring it about, both for yourselves and others. That is my promise. Then he lets out a long breath. That's it. I ask you all to think on this. And let's reconvene along our journey to the summit. <coughs> Wolfred turns toward the mountains, leaving you to consider what he said and plot the wagon's northward path. Woo! Okay, so here's my thought. Now, it should be said, I'm a libertarian. And since this game is delving into what appears to me to be kind of analogies for social, societal issues. I'm just going to speak my mind. Um, I'm going to speak my mind in my uh, narrator voice. No, honestly, um... When you think about it, America was founded on what was effectively a revolt. Uh, you know, it's called the American Revolution, which a revolt is like a revolution. Um, sometimes for the sake of true freedom, for the sake of people actually living in an area where they can make their own decisions, it does require things like a revolution or a revolt. Um... It's important that the people leading such things be aware of, you know, consequences, right? You can, the revolt may fail. You may not have enough support. You may die, you know. Um, that said, from what he's, from what he's describing the Commonwealth, that, that you know, they're, you're living in, that, that's a society is very much, if you are not conformed to how we say you should be, we th exile you, you know, that's not right and i think that's for that that's worthy ish of a revolt now it all depends on the manner of which and that kind of stuff ultimately it's a situation by situation 
Um, so far, I don't have any issues with Volfred. <clears throat> so we shall continue forward. While I drink some more of my fruit punch. Oh, for fuck's sake. Beyond lies Mount Aladil. I suggest we make camp here at the base of the mountain. For we shall need our spirits and our strength to make the ascent. Ooh. Seeks Teasel. I would like to interact with the Volfram. There you are, my boy. There's something which I wanted to discuss with you in private. Volfred stares at you rather intently, as if reaching out to you, and then, as if reaching out to you, and then. Do you know what it means to be a reader? Reader. Those such as we. We are not limited to reading pages from a book. Though your ability in this I sense is nascent, still mere flashes uncontrollable. I see as well now that they haven't told you yet, your friends, and that explains a lot. They haven't told you, you readers such as you cannot. I had wondered why you would insist on pressing onward with this group in light of this. The answer, then, was plain. You simply did not know, or fully realize. They did not deceive you, by the way. There is no reason they would know themselves other than Tariq, who shall not influence your thinking in such matters. Rather. I had expected when at first we met that you already knew the truth of this from having read the passage in the Book of Rites, which states it plain. Only those who shall conduct the rites first hand shall walk the path toward enlightenment and become eligible to regain their freedom. Perhaps you have not gotten to that part just yet. Volfer breaks free from you and looks at you. Again. Then he speaks to you as normal. Not in Kare it is plain that you are not in adequate condition to conduct the rites, and this group values you as reader. I only wish to ensure you understand what you are getting into here. Despite whatever hopes and dreams and promises might have been shared, I do not think the rites can help you to return, if that is what you had in mind. So... Once again, I invite you to depart, and I will see to it that you are compensated. Do not misunderstand. If it is your wish to remain, then you are welcome, but this journey we are on, it has no guarantees, not for you, nor any one of us. Do you understand? I understand. I'm gonna back out. This game is really good. Okay, um, I, I'm, I kind of I like that they were unafraid to do some um, analogies, some parallels to the real world here. It's fascinating that they're doing this one though. Like, because here's the deal, right? From what he's just saying. There's a chance that through the rites, our character could go free, but it seems there is a much greater chance that we will not be free through the rites. The only opportunity to get free would be to eventually become a person who participates in the rites actively. So these people are, are our friends. They are people that there, there are characters here that we have grown to like and care and dislike and that kind of stuff. You know, so you have to weigh the options. You're going, 
man, do I really want to, like, you know, sacrifice my potential freedom just so these people can go free? Now, me personally, that's an obvious answer. Yes. I would rather have something be inflicted on myself and see that people that I care about, and even people that I don't necessarily care about, have the opportunity to live a better life. Um, to be completely honest with you, that's why I want to do things like share some of my life experiences, share some of my piss poor life decisions that I've made in hopes that you, my dear viewers, cannot make those mistakes that I've made or can take insight that I have learned from 31 years of life and, you know, a couple decades of bad life choices and choices that I wish I could go back and change, but that I can't. But what I can do is pass on my experience, pass on the things that I have gained from some of those things to help you guys out. You know, I have friends that uh, struggle with things at college. I know, I know of some people that have struggled with some things in college and, you know, I love them to death and if they don't ask, I'm not going to say anything, but like, I want to be like, yo, this is what I learned between the ages of 18 to 31. You know, like if you're doing a vocation, if you're, if you're going into a career or a, a job, you know, whatever, whatever you want to call it, that requires specialized training, that requires you to get like a degree or something, by all means do it and focus hard on it and don't fuck around. Make sure you graduate. Enjoy your time, but don't fuck around, don't graduate. Don't fuck around and graduate. If you're going into something that, like, quite frankly, if you have the self-discipline to teach yourself, and you're not going to get, and it's not going to negatively impact, you're better off working your ass off, earning money, teaching yourself, and all this kind of stuff, to then have that life, because you're going to incur less debt, yada, 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 right? That's just a quick little zoom out. I love, I love that they're asking this question because you can say you do not care, right? Okay, so it says you have learned in life to keep your expectations low and tempered. That's fair. I think that's an honestly say nothing, blah, 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 right? This is saying, saying I understand is like, yeah, I know. I may not get free from this, but I see these people that I care about, some of these people I don't care about, and they have the opportunity to achieve what they want. And maybe I'll get the chance this time, but there might be another time, you know? Or maybe I'll never do that, you know? And, and that's that's the answer that I personally answer with, because honestly, that fits me pretty well. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying I do this kind of shit perfectly, because I don't. I really don't. I'm 31 years old, and I can think of times in the past two years that I have done stuff opposite of what I'm saying here. So it's worth noting. But again, I've learned things these past two years that I would love to pass along to people. So I'm saying, say I understand. <clears throat> you understand the words of warning, yet just the same you choose to carry on. There is more that you wish to achieve on this journey than freedom for yourself. Let us see Tane Tane's. I admire that, my boy. Then... Very well. Know that we have much at stake here in this anyway. Much more than just a shot at going back into that commonwealth which cast us down here to begin with. It sounds like you intend to stick around. Then we'll have lots more time to chat as we ascend the sacred mountain in the coming days. Until then. He strides out of the wagon then leaving you with your thoughts. Okay. <clears throat> uh, you call upon me for some purpose, my reader. Certainly. Who shall be the target of my wrath, then, would you say? Tease up! You asked Sandra to administer one of her special trials for Tizo. I dare think I remember something of that imp. He certainly stood out from all his ilk, although that is really not saying much. Well, let us bring him forth. 
Tizo soon appears in the heat of the summons. Creaky key! You. But you're gonna get real mean. There was something on my fucking thumb. It needed to go off. It was dead skin. Ta da! Okay. 150. The apparition Sandra appears and unfastens her mask. Listen well, imp. You answer to me here. Kriha! You know the formalities, of course. Show me, then, what you have learned thus far about the rites. Here in this trial, it shall be just you, my Beyonders, and your lovely reader. Now, let, let us see now how you fare. Okay. Give me the Tizo! Oh, my Lanta! Woohoo! Shit! What the fuck? Holy crap. Oh, balls. Holy shit. Oh my god. Holy wreck city. Wow. Wow. This is hard mode shit right here, yo. No. No. Lies. Lies. I got wrecked. Minyanyas. Give me both. Come now, imp. This test is not meant to be easy, even for the likes of you. I would tell you not waste any more of my I would tell you not to waste more of my time, but then my time is there for you to waste, so try again now or whenever you so choose. I mean, yeah, we can do better. As long as you accept more pain, I'll I shall be happy to oblige. <laughs> okay. Send so a favor you come back to subscribe trials anytime. Now this is one thing that would probably say that uh this game's not far is far from over because Maybe. Oh, my Lanta. Good over. Yikes. Okay. Ah, fuck you. What? What? Lies. So many. Nailed it. I did it. I'm good. Oopsies. E, e, e. Bull, what? How? Fuck, what? Lies. Okay, so it appeared to me, maybe... Shh. That's it. However, I learned something. I need to... I can be a little more defensive there, because he's got all that stamina. And I got the flutter. Yes, we can do better. One again. We shall see if he fares any better this time. Screw you, Sandra. I think she's the one person that's got a bad, bad bet. A bad, bad word out of me. 
Kaskas. Come on. Let's go. Oh, come on. Uh. Well, good news is it's there. Oh, that bitch. I'm back. Oh, that's unfortunate for me. Can I fling the damn thing? Okay. One, get it, hit it, get it. Oh. Bitches and hoes, one, zero. Dude, didn't I like hit them once? Oh, that was last time around. Got it. A little walk jack. Sucker, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, so no, not that way. Actually, it's kind of okay. <laughs> Their jump is so shallow and so long. Bitches and hoes. Double bitches and hoes. I meant to hit W to flutter over it and I didn't. That's my own damn fault. Oh, I threw. Bye, cruel world. Oh. Okay. Shit. Fuck you. Oh my god, ran right by me. I am stubborn. Yes. <laughs> I will end this. I I am stubborn too much. I will happily wait till next week's episode to beat this, which will be approximately 24 hours from now, probably. Here we go. Okay. So what I can do 
Oh! Get there, get there, get there! Okay, so, so, so my strategy appears to be such. I need to mostly flutter. And use that. Holy crap. Because if I can die deep enough in their territory... That's not great. Here we go. Two more to there. Three more. Okay, that's at least deep enough in their territory that maybe... Nope. Two more to there, two more. Okay, okay, okay. No! I didn't want to grab it! I'm an idiot. But hey, progress is being made. No! Oh my god! Okay. I still got a tiny little bit of time here. Yes! I think I can do it within a time or two. I might be able to beat this by the end of this episode. I might. I'm looking at my recording time and I'm looking at the time, real world time. I gotta be up at. I gotta wake up at like 4 a.m. So, and it's currently 9.13 p.m. So, I am... Nope! It's deep enough in their territory though, though if I'm able to get there... Oh! Here we go. Here we go. Three more times to there. Four more. There we go. Okay. I think I got it. We took each other out. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. None of that shit. That's okay. Oh, come on. Ty should go to the damn runner. Oh, no. That was fortunate ish. Nope, not fortunate at all. Damn it. Two to two, basically. Shit. One, it's one one, okay. No, <laughs> fuck you, Sandra. Yes, I see. Like, I had it, I had it, I had it, I had it. I just got screwed by some, I made some poor decisions. <laughs> I made some poor decisions. I also swear they're getting there like frame perfectly. Okay, let's do this. Come on. Okay, I have to kind of. No! 
Oh. It's fine. It's fine. That's 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 fine. Come on. That's a good strategy. That's fine. That's fine. That's completely fine. None of that shit. That's not good. That's offsides. It should be cut. That should be offsides. Cool. I'm fine with that. Not fine with that. Not fine with that. Not fine with that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Come on, 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 come on. No! Okay, two to two. No! Throws into the corner, that's fine. They need one score. Three to one. One to one. One to one. Damn it! <laughs> Fuck you, Sandra. Okay. I got 11 minutes to beat this. I have 11 minutes. I believe that I can do this. I know the general strategy. I, I, if I die, I need to die deep within their territory because my spirit fairy, whatever it is, basically works like I can.
Damn it. One. Go, 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 go. Mm. Good. Now that shit. Yes. Uh, three to what, two? No! How did it go that way? Oh! Three to one. Fine with that. Fine with that. That's a decent spot. Decent spot if I can spawn in time. Nope. <laughs> Fuck you, Sandra. Oh. Yes. Let's go. I can do this. It's very doable. I just need, like, I have to be smarter defensively. Ah. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's not good. One, okay. That's better. Take sure each other out. That's not great. One. Da, 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 da. Not sure why. I should have fluttered. Oh, that's not great. That's not great. That's not great. Go, 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 go. I'm fine with that. Not. That's not good at all, Cotton. That was piss poor. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Died in that corner. I have time to respond. There we go. Come on. Two to three. Check each other out. That's fine. We'll do one zero. How in the Sam hell? That is a massively long jump. That's not great. Okay, I managed it there. I'm 
not entirely sure how, but I did. Okay, well at least I've got a spawn there. One, zero. Fuck you. That's game. Mm, Sandra. You bitch. Her trials are, these are brilliant by the way. They're teaching you like mechanics for a character, how to play with them a little bit, you know. I mean, it's smart and it's super challenging. Clearly, that, and I probably suck too, but. Nope! Need to die. Uh oh. Fuck. That's a decent spot for it. Fuck! There you go. One for one. There at four. I'm... No. Three to three. It's fine. Holy crap, no kidding? No way. Okay. Okay, that's not good. One, uh, da, da, yep. We're each at two now. Okay. Okay, we took each other out. That's fine. Saw that one coming. Took each other out. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Fuck you. I'll take that glitch. I don't know what the hell that glitch is, but I'll take it. Okay. We took each other out, but oh my gosh, is that a beautiful placement. That's not good. That's, good. that's not game, but that's... Ugh. No. Okay, we took each other out. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Two, one. There we go, 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 yes! Oh my 
god. <laughs> Fuck yeah, we did it. I will file that for them. Your performance was sufficient, and you passed my test. Your predecessor may well have approved. Thus, congratulations are in order. To you and your lovely reader. Now, farewell. Biatch! Oh. Welcome ever to the nearly first one hour long episode of Pyre. <laughs> Greek! Jesus, happy to be one of what did Sandra grant to you? That's a good question. You take a closer look at the new artifact in your possession. You received Halb's Wing for completing Tizo's trial. Flutter and zip abilities cost less stamina. Th oh my. Okay. That's legit. Hoof duh. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. The first ever nearly one hour long episode of Pyre. <laughs> uh, this was fun. Okay, cool. Didn't do any rights. Just did a lot of reading and talking and at least. We did a practice right, but that took a long time, but it was worth it. That was worth it. All right. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, be back next week with another episode of Pyre. So until then, guys. Well, I'll be back next Sunday with another episode of Pyre. Next Saturday is the Doom Eternal finale. And then, uh, you know, all the other videos I do throughout the week. So hope you guys uh, watch them. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe if you want. If you like, feel free to comment if you think I suck or if uh, there's something about this enjoy, something you'd like to see me play. I would really enjoy that. I would really, really greatly appreciate it. So thank you so very much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. Stay happy. And stay healthy. Because you are not alone. And you are loved. And always feel free to reach out to me anyone else if you need help getting safe happy or healthy have a wonderful day i'll see you guys next time okay bye